Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, a set of intermediaries for housing finance company which has been recommended by a committee which was set up very recently. It's a very important topic under finance current affairs and a lot of questions can be asked from it. So let us start with the session but before starting let me tell you very briefly about the courses which are on offer uh, on my website which you can use for 2019 as well as 2020 RBI examinations. Now for 2019 a lot of student, uh, students have been asking me about things that they can do in order to complete their prep. A lot of students are already into revision uh, phase, have done the entire study themselves uh, which is a very good thing and now they want to complete their prep and make sure that they get through to phase two. So in order to help those students, there is a course on offer, uh, which is for 4,000 after 40, 50% discount. It covers entire phase one, uh, which includes quant reasoning English and general awareness. There is a ebook, which has already been launched. And there is also uh, the mock test, complete mock test for phase one as well. If you are willing on uh, taking only general awareness and static GK, the spotlight has been very popular. Uh, all credit goes to the entire team as well as you guys who loved it and who have been using it not only for RBI but also for many other examinations like SBI, LIC and I get messages every day uh, congratulating me and thanking me for the kind of uh, quality booklet that we've created on a monthly basis. Similarly, if you're willing on, uh, you know, completing your prep with respect to static GK and taking a lot of mocks in addition to understanding past year papers and using the ebook for practicing in case uh, you need, you feel that you need more practice, then you can use the phase one mock plus phase one general awareness course, which is only for 1950. If you go to any other website, you will see that all these things are available at much higher price. You get only mocks for somewhere around uh, 1100 or 1500. And if you include all the general awareness, all the static GK, uh, a, a booklet, past year papers, everything, it is going to cost more. So it has been kept at a very low price. You can use it. Uh, you can take these mocks and complete your prep so that you are assured that, okay, I'm going to make through uh, phase one and now I need to worry about phase two. In case you're willing on uh, preparing for phase one and phase two simultaneously, although the days are less now, but uh, if you're willing on preparing for phase one, phase two simultaneously, uh, through everything that has been prepared in the last one year, as well as the revision series, which is going on, then you can use the crash course, which is only for 9600. You can use the discount coupon crash 40. Uh, there are some courses uh, for 2020, which are also on offer. Uh, so you can use those courses. The descriptions of these courses are also available in these videos, which have been posted here. Okay, so let us start with our session. And today we are going to talk about the new intermediary, which has been recommended by a committee chairman or uh, headed by Hush Vardhan, who was senior advisor in Bain and Company. And he has recommended a housing finance company, a new intermediary for housing finance company with the idea of reviving mortgage backed securities, MBS. Now, if you don't know, let me tell you very briefly that mortgage backed securities, also called as CDOs, collateralized debt obligations, were the instruments which were behind the financial crisis of 2008. What are they? Let's say. Uh, you go to a bank and you buy a, a house, you go to a bank for a loan and you take that loan. But the bank needs some collateral. And as a collateral, the bank says that, okay, give us your papers of the house. And in case tomorrow you don't want to pay the remaining installments or you are unable to pay the remaining installments, we will take the possession of your house. So what happens is all the in all the securities, all the sorry, not securities, all the papers, uh, power of attorneys or registration papers of your house are hypothecated with the bank. The bank has access to these. And in case you stop paying your installments, they can take charge of your house and push you out of the house. Okay. Now, these instruments or these, uh, uh, you know, power of attorneys or these papers are lying idle with the bank. So what ca the bank can do is if there is enough depth in the market, the bank can sell all these papers to another entity, which will be an intermediary, which will combine all these power of attorneys and registration papers, all these papers, and will create a super security, will create a security, which is basically a derivative, the value of the security is to be derived based on the value of these power of attorneys. 
value of these papers which determine that this particular entity owns this house okay now if the one of the uh, one of the persons let's say this this is uh, loan a this is loan b and this is loan c let's say the person a uh, defaults on his payment now in case he defaults the value of this particular house the security will go down and as a result the value of the security which has this particular power of attorney will also go down so the value of this security is directly determined by whether a person these loanees are paying back their installments or not now this committee has recommended to set up this intermediary in india so this is the intermediary for uh, housing finance company so that the banks can take off or can sell these papers which are lying idle and can earn some money on this because they will get returns on these securities and this intermediary can convert all these power of attorneys all these registration papers into securities and can then sell in the capital markets which will be bought by investors so investors who believe that they are good securities can invest them invest in them and whenever regular installments are made by these people everybody earns the bank earns uh, this intermediary earns in terms of cut and the investor is also provided returns on his investment that he has made i hope you have understood how mortgage backed securities mbs or cdos work in the market so this committee has recommended that these kinds of mbs should be set up in india as well so it's recommended formation of a new government sponsored intermediary through the national housing bank to be regulated by rbi remember this to be set up through national housing bank to be regulated by rbi to improve mortgage mortgage backed securitization it already exists but it is uh, very difficult to create such securities in india because it is heavily regulated now what are the advantages of formation of intermediary company like this it will going to be regulated by rbi so it will be strictly regulated number 1 it will not be on nhb nhb already has a broad manda mandate to provide refinancing and lending activities in addition to that it cannot be expected out of nhb to carry out uh, such a technical task therefore a separate intermediary company which is going to be sponsored by the government is should be created now what are the recommendations regarding how, how it should be structured the initial capital is recommended to be 500 crore the stake of ownership will be government owned with 51% government stake which is going to be brought down to or should be brought down to 26% over the next 5 years uh, the remaining 49% may be initially raised from multilateral agencies different multilateral international and private agencies okay investment allowance will be allowed to invest in each pool it securitizes to the extent of 5% of the pool and 5% of its own capital base whichever is lower so uh, whenever this intermediary company is creating a pool of securities it can also invest its own money and that investment is limited to 5% okay the overall aggregate limit of 50% capital of intermediary can be set as a limit for market making activities so 50% of the capital will be kept aside it cannot be invested by the intermediary it will be used for market making or basically finance uh, marketing activities okay so this is about market based uh, uh, mortgage based securities this is the example which explains how an mbs will work which i just explained to you and why banks engage in mortgage securitization i told you that as well in order to make more money in order to get off these securities not securities these power of attorneys these housing uh, uh, you know uh, uh, control uh securities or housing control documents from them to another entity so that they can offload that and make money immediately because these housing loans are long term loans of 30 years 50 years and therefore bank cannot keep these loans on its balance sheet for such a long time and ma uh, mortgage based securitization allows these banks to offload uh these kinds of documents or these kinds of loans from their balance sheet so that it can finance more in the future okay uh, similarly along with the uh, offloading this loan the risk of default is also offloaded from the bank 
to this investment company which is the intermediary in this case okay so this is all about intermediary being recommended by this new committee by mr harsh i hope you have understood this lesson if you liked it do not forget to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the future videos related to finance current all the very best take care